Silver Lake Intermediate School, fifth grade teachers, Erin O'Connell and Michelle Sendick. We felt it was very important that this be uh, um, a unit where the kids felt in, fully invested in it versus it just being told that this is what we're doing. So we kind of made it a grassroots movement, if you will. They were asked to start with looking at different tech sets that, uh, into more of a, like decide on a focus question or an essential question that they wanted to start um, really looking at researching. And then from there, we felt that they were getting to a point where, okay, they're researching these topics and we're not really doing anything with it. Like they were kind of getting bored. And so Michelle and I got together and said, what can we do? So we came up with this idea that the kids would go to a conference and present their research as experts on their topic. So they, that really motivated them and they were really engaged to continue researching and become those experts because then they were the ones that had to present that information. And then as they were planning, they were able to decide what sort of model or venue they wanted to present that information. And that really was based on their choice, that was based on their interests. Uh, some, the more visual learners did posters, PowerPoints, things like that. Uh, some, a group did a little interview and acted out their research information. Uh, some students brought in like actual fossils to go along with their topic, like actual tangible artifacts. things, artifacts, yeah. So it was really up to them how they wanted to present their information, their knowledge that they learned. What enjoy most about this particular project? Um, like getting to try the food that I made too. So like, um, I made like Indonesian fried rice. And, and you, so your demonstration at the end to show what you learned was you cooked something and shared it with your group? Yeah. choose to demonstrate or show what you'd learned? Um, so I had a poster and it said a timeline of the boats starting from 4,000 BC. It looks like you also brought in some uh, boats from home too. See? Sylvie, what did you research? Um, I researched um, pot belly house pigs. Pot belly house pigs. Now did you get to choose that? Um, yes. Oh, awesome. And my, I had a focus question, which was, are pot belly house pigs good pets? Okay. Awesome. And were you, um, would you say that you were engaged through this project, like you enjoyed working on it every yes. single day? Why do you think that is? Um, I don't like just reading. I like doing projects with um, I like doing projects. Research, great. Coral reefs. Coral reefs. I like doing projects better than just like an essay or like something like that. So I like making a poster and like doing all this other kind of stuff. Okay, so 
during reading class, you obviously read about coral reefs, right? Did you watch any videos on coral reefs? Uh, yeah, I watched like, little videos. Okay, so you used a variety of, of materials to help you learn about coral reefs, pictures and things like that, too? Awesome, and it looks like you even brought something from home, too, right? She had a little checklist. Was that, did everyone have that same uh, checklist? Yeah, and, you, and what you would do is you would fill out someone else's. Like, I filled out Lily's. Put the camera on Lily. I'm just <laughs> um, but I filled out Lily. I filled out Lily's presentation. And then you do your, like, yourself and you grade yourself on how you think you did. What did you research? Um, I researched um, ocean food chains. So, would you say that you were engaged the whole time you were doing Reader's Workshop? Yeah. 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 So, it's pretty cool, huh?